Young Dolph was a hot, up-and-coming rapper who was tragically murdered in November last year. The rapper was simply buying cookies from a bakery when he was sprayed with bullets from, at the time, two unknown assailants. Crime and violence seem to plague the rap community, and this is yet another tragic instance of a rapper who lost his life due to unnecessary violence. You won't believe the details from Young Dolph's case, and now that the autopsy has been released, there's even more information to digest. Keep watching till the end of this video to know everything you need to about Young Dolph and the recent release of his official autopsy. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Before we get into the video, subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Young Dolph's autopsy has been officially released. Finally, after a long five months, Young Dolph's autopsy was revealed to the public, and the findings were surprising and revealed the brutality of the case. According to the investigation, gunshot wounds to the head, neck, and body were the cause of death for the 36-year-old rapper. The official cause of death was homicide according to the medical examiner, and Young Dolph had 22 wounds, some of which were recorded as entrance wounds, some as exit wounds, and others as unidentified bullet wounds. To think that the rapper was pumped with 22 bullets is scary, especially since he didn't see it coming and was practically defenseless. Since the autopsy came out, there's a high probability the two suspects will be found guilty and charged with first-degree murder. How was Young Dolph actually murdered? On November 17, 2021, in Memphis, Tennessee, Young Dolph was shot dead at his favorite cookie shop. This surprised the whole world, especially those within the rap industry. Although Young Dolph had been shot at before, no one expected him to ever die. Following the tragic shooting, one of his close relatives told a local newspaper he was inside and someone just rolled up and took his life. The fact that the rapper was only 36 years old and had young children at the time of his death only adds to the tragedy. Two males fled the shooting site in a white Mercedes with tinted windows, according to surveillance footage. In the photographs, each suspect is brandishing a weapon. Weapon. They were both dressed in dark sweatshirts and dark colored jeans. In addition, Young Dolph's car, a vehicle with a unique and identifiable camouflage paint job, was identified by witnesses who captured the aftermath of the incident on social media. Following the incident, numerous fans flocked to the scene to express their sorrow, support, and love for the now late rapper. According to law enforcement officials, both of the gunmen wanted for the murder of the beloved Memphis rapper was promptly apprehended and taken into custody after the shooting. Officials issued a formal indictment against the two men charged with the rapper's death on January 12, 2022. Cornelius Smith was the first person to be named and arrested for the rapper's murder after he was recognized as a suspect. Smith was arrested in South Haven, Mississippi, on an auto theft warrant involving the white vehicle that was thought to be the murder getaway car. Justin Johnson, also known as Straight Drop, the second suspect, was apprehended around two weeks later. A month later, both suspects pleaded guilty, and their next hearing is slated for March 24, 2022, where hopefully we'll see how long the shooters will spend in jail if charged with first-degree murder, which is a very high possibility. Now, let's take a look at some of Young Dolph's beef with other rappers. First is with Yo Gotti. Before his passing, Young Dolph had some pretty heated beef with fellow rapper Yo Gotti, but what actually went down between the two? Following the death of Dolph, police arrived outside Yo Gotti's eatery. The rapper wasn't technically a suspect in Dolph's killing, and the intentions for the police being there were and are still unclear. Nonetheless, the entrance of the police caused people to question what had been the source of their long standing feud. The origins of the two rappers' conflict are unclear, but many fans have remarked that the rappers have been taking subtle jabs at each other on tracks for years. Both Gotti and Dolph were born and raised in South Memphis, and they've traded barbs in various interviews. Many believe the beef all began back in 2014. Young Dolph appeared in an interview after the release of his mixtape to discuss the project. He discussed his decision not to sign a record deal with Yo Gotti, noting that he would rather see his personal investment in himself than grab onto another artist's movement. Dolph would subsequently blamed their feud on Yo Gotti taking offense with this decision, though Gotti has never confirmed that specific theory. However, Young Dolph and Yo Gotti's spat first officially surfaced in 2016, when Dolph threw subliminal shots at his fellow Memphis rapper. In response to Yo Gotti's failed effort to sign Dolph to a CMG label, he tweeted out, Bro went from being my number one fan and trying to sign me to becoming my biggest hater. Shortly after this tweet, Dolph titled his debut album King of Memphis, a name that Gotti had used several times to describe him himself. Dolph also alleged that Gotti was envious of his rise to fame. Following all of this back and forth online, one of Gotti's CMG artists, Black Youngsta, created a diss single aimed directly at Dolph, clearly upset by his 
actions and wanting to stick up for Gotti. Youngsta also allegedly paid a visit to the rapper's Memphis area with a posse and was said to be heavily armed. This was the last official instance between the two rappers before Dolph was sadly murdered. Well, almost the last. Following the rapper's death, Black Youngsta didn't let the fact that he was no longer alive get in the way of their long-running feud. During a club appearance in December 2021, Black, who was allegedly accused of shooting up Dolph's car on an earlier instance, sang his Dolph diss track titled Shake Some. Given that the late rapper was shot and subsequently died in their shared hometown of Memphis only a month prior, many people thought that was out of bounds and just plain disrespectful. But Youngsta doesn't give a damn what other people think, as he clearly stated in a lengthy Instagram post. Black basically stated that he couldn't care less. Young Dolph and Soldier Boy Beef Now, Yo Gotti wasn't the only rapper Young Dolph was beefing with. It was reported that the rapper also had issues with fellow rap artist Soldier Boy. Although his rivalry with Gotti was the most well-known, Dolph also had a beef with Soulja Boy that surfaced more recently. Dolph blasted Soulja Boy on Instagram a week before his death, writing, How am I an independent artist and receiving 100k plus for a show? He then went on to criticize Dolph, questioning how he gets more money and automobiles than Soulja Boy, who has been in the game for much longer than Dolph. Soulja Boy, who's notorious for replying when he's called out, responded to Dolph's remarks by implying that Dolph was lying. Young Dolph was also tagged in post by Soulja Boy concerning shooting situations that Dolph was involved in previous to his murder, including one in 2017 where his car was shot at over a hundred times. Following the news of Dolph's death, several people are examining these instances to see if they played a part in the tragedy. However, this is quite a stretch, and most people believe Soldier Boy and his comments played no part in Dolph's ultimate demise. Beef with Moneybag Yo Finally, the very short-lived beef with fellow Memphis rapper Moneybag was nothing compared to Dolph's heated beefs with other Memphis rappers, most notably Yo Gotti. However, this didn't stop Dolph from throwing shade at Moneybag in April 2021, only a few months before he was tragically murdered. Young Dolph used his Twitter account to scream at all Memphis artists in a series of posts. Although he did not name anyone particular in his tweets, fans quickly pointed out the rapper's tweets towards Moneybag Yo. He stated on Twitter that he believes Memphis rappers are competing for who can make the lamest tracks, and that all these rappers were searching for validation on social media and clout chasing. While no one really knows who he was directly taking aim at, Moneybag responded, stating how it's sad that rappers feel the need to tweet their feelings and anger online instead of saying it face to face like a man. Could fans be mistaken in their assumption of a feud between the two? Regardless, it doesn't matter anymore since Dolph sadly passed away. And there you have it, everything you need to know about young Dolph and his death, along with the details from his official autopsy, which was just released this past week. The rapper's death surprised and saddened the entire rap community, and just highlights the ongoing violence that plagues the rap world. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Do you think young Dolph's death was related to any of his beefs? Why do you think he was targeted? Let us know.